Hello folks, Sam Owens here with a review of a solar panel. This is a 20 watt solar panel that'll be great for your RV to keep those batteries charged up fully. And uh, we're going to open this up and see what we got. All the information is going to be over to the right up there and uh, I'll try to present it as we go along. After we look uh, at a bench test of uh, the solar panel and go through the features, we'll go over to the RV and I'll actually hook it up and show you uh, the results. Okay, there we go. Out of the way, this is the back side, this is the front side. And we'll get it out of here. Okay. There we go. Let me see like that right there looks like a good uh, 10 to 12 foot cord and you I see right there the alligator clips and also a way of connecting into the cigarette lighter or charger port and we'll look at each of these and also some mounting screws look at there four of them and they look stainless steel so one thing about the RV is most all RVs have a, a a couple of air conditioners and that's where most solar panels are mounted if you want to mount them permanently and they give you the screws to sit here and looks like to attach them at these four locations and it can mount right up on the uh, air conditioner uh, it's a plastic shroud up there and then usually if you put it on the front the front air conditioner is usually where there's access to the uh, 12 volts uh, going to your coach battery so this is a good place to uh, be able to charge your coach batteries uh, and uh, we'll try to look at that it requires me going up on the rig and I may just take you up there all right this is 20 watts and here is uh, it's Sunner power and uh, it's got uh, this is the BC 20 watt pro and it's got everything you need uh, to be able to charge your coach batteries would be uh, good for this if you mounted it up on the air conditioner in the user manual is a lot of information that I would suggest very strongly reading before you even do anything uh, with the, the solar charger and find out uh, the main features and I'm posting them up to the right so you can read some of this and uh, also the technical parameters uh, you could look at that I'll place that up there and also it might be a good idea to have a voltmeter so that you can actually check the output of this now what this has in it is a a controller is built in to the unit it doesn't have a separate controller some of them have a separate controller that has a lot of features evidently this is just a a straight controller that you can't change the parameters of it uh, it's set up to handle all the different major types of batteries and uh, it's, it says built in MPPT that's uh, max power port transfer and uh, what it means is it regulates the power so that you don't overcharge your battery so it's very important to have that controller in it you never want to just charge uh, uh, full strength out of the charger without uh, regulation so when the, the batteries are charged you want the solar charger not to charge the batteries very important and this has it 20 watt is a great uh, little power rating uh, to handle just um, a, a little task like that this is designed uh, to uh, charge 12 volt batteries uh, it will charge uh, both uh, AGM and deep cycle and lead acid batteries but not 6 volts an individual 6 volts uh, you do not want to use this 
you don't want to use it on 24 or 36 uh, volt batteries, only 12 volt. Now, most uh, RVs have two 6 volt batteries and they're connected in series, means the added voltage between two 6 volts is 12 volt. And that you can use this for uh, to connect across both uh, the positive of one. Uh, 12 volt battery which is connected between the two and then the other end would be give you the 12 volt so you should measure 12 volts and that will work here is the LED indicator which is located right there it tells you all the different conditions and we'll look at that out there now we're going to look at these uh, accessory cords uh, they give you three different connection modes this is uh, just a connection point and don't let these touch but when you plug these two together you could wire to a battery you know pull this apart and wire directly to a battery like that if that's the way or put eye, eye connectors on there uh, to go on to the connector of the the battery clamp so that's one option here, if you just want to clip into this and actually just temporarily clip across them, like when you go camping just for the week or what have you, you can clip across the battery, positive and negative. And right here, if you want to charge through the power port, yes, you can charge batteries by plugging into a vehicle's power port and plug here and it will deliver a charge through there. So you can kind of uh, charge it up that way if it's something you want to do real quick, like. Okay, so all kinds of options right there, and uh, I think we'll try to see how this works on the uh, motorhome. As you can see, I have a solar monitor already hooked up in my motorhome but my old solar panel went out so it never has worked and i didn't have any up there now we're going to hook this up i'm going to go up on the uh up on the roof and we're going to hook the uh, solar panel in and uh, i'm not going to mount it i'm just going to show you and it says when on only light on only when battery is accepting charge it's not on because i don't have it hooked up let's go up and look at it and then we'll come back down okay if you can see the light is flashing green man it's got lots of sunlight enough to do the job but it's not connected to the battery now right here is going to that solar charger panel that I showed you with the light in the motor home it's up in the ceiling now we're gonna plug those two in and it should connect me to the battery there it's flashing red that means that it's charging my coach batteries right now the Sun is charging them so this is a good place for me to mount this if you'll notice, this is where the old one, it was a small one, uh, mounted. What I'll probably do is, uh, I might even leave that there and get longer screws or bolts and screw this down with longer screws and that'll give it some support since it's already here and mounted. But that's going to do the job right there. It is charging my batteries. And we're going to go and look at the batteries. Uh, I've got a, a meter in there that will show me uh, what the voltage is. So we'll go down and ch uh, check it. That's going to work great, and this could work great for you. And if you don't have a solar monitor like I do, you can just run wires down to your battery and you'll be okay. It's just that I'm going to be able to see when the charger is working. That's mounted underneath my air conditioner. And uh, there's a lead that goes down to my battery. So that's what uh, makes it work. And this is a monitor to monitor the voltage coming from the solar charger. Okay, or solar panel. Okay. Folks, 
get you one if you have an RV and you don't have a solar uh, panel. Uh, you could get one of these 20 watts. They look like they're just the right size to mount up on the uh, air conditioner uh, sh uh, cover. And uh, you see what you can do. And uh, I think uh, you'll be happy with the performance. Thanks for watching.